Hey there. So today's class, we're going to focus on activating the core, creating length through the side body, and we're also going to release a little bit of tension through the hips. We will be doing a little bit of work on the knees for a little while, so if you need to, grab a blanket, especially do that if you have knee problems. So when you're ready, we're going to make our way down onto our backs. Connecting that spine onto the mat, placing the soles of the feet on the mat about hip width apart. Arms come alongside the body, palms down, or you can take one hand and place it on the abdomen. Closing the eyes and begin engaging your breath in and out of the nose. Feeling the rise of the belly on the inhale, and as you exhale, drawing that belly button to the spine. Now, wherever you're at in your breath, exhale all of your air. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, open mouth. In through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, AJ. One more, just like that. Now take it in through the nose. Begin out the mouth and close halfway. Two more. Last one. Now just take it in and out of the nose, trying to make that sound internally on the exhale. A slight restriction in the back of the throat that helps drown out the chatter of the mind and give you something to focus on through your practice. Two more breaths. If your hands aren't there already, both of the arms alongside the body. We're going to send that right foot up to the sky. Pull the toes towards the face and reach through the heel of the foot. On the inhale breath, we're going to press into the left foot and lift those hips up to the sky. Exhale, lower down. Three more. Last one. And release that right foot down. Left foot comes up when you're ready. Toes pulled to the face, heel extending upwards. Inhale, lift those hips up, reach through the foot. Exhale, come down, three more. Last one. And lower all the way down. Foot comes to the mat. Bring both knees in. Squeeze them in. Rock a little bit side to side. Then send both legs up to the sky. Bring the legs together. Arms alongside the body. Palms down. If you have low back issues, take the hands underneath the low back for a little bit more support. Now, Begin taking the legs into circles, nice and small, going whichever direction you'd like, gradually opening them up, moving with control, moving the legs as one unit. Continuing for five, four, three, two, one, and back to center. Release the knees in, squeeze them in. Legs come back up when you're ready. Switch the direction. Take it the other way when you're ready. Starting small and gradually opening up that circle.
Paint as big as you can with control. Number five. Four, keep that breath moving. Three, two, and one. Release the knees in. Squeeze them into the body. Rock side to side. Send those legs back up. Arms alongside the body or hands underneath the low back for support. Inhale is here. Exhale, lower that right leg down towards the mat. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower the left leg. Inhale, lift. Alternating legs. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Both legs stay active. Inhale, lift. Continue. Moving with your breath. Going at a pace that works for you and your body. One more each leg. And both knees back into the chest. Squeeze them in. Rock a little bit side to side. Legs come up one last time. This time bringing them together once again. Inhale here. Exhale, you're going to lower as far down as is comfortable for you. Inhale, bring them up and exhale lower you can bring a little bit of bend into the knees if you need to it does make it a little bit less intense but again that's up to you straighten them if you can two more and both knees come in squeeze them in rock a little bit side to side now when you're ready we're going to make our way up, grabbing the blanket if you have one, placing it on the center of your mat. Both knees come onto it. We're going to lift ourselves up so that the torso is directly over the knees. Then we're going to take the left foot out to the side, toes face forward. Ideally, the right knee intersects with the middle of the foot and that leg connects all the way down through the outside of that left foot. Now on the inhale, we're gonna bring the arms up, reach them long to the sky, exhale, plant that right hand, reach that left arm long, inhale up, exhale, left arm down the leg, side bend over. Inhales through center, exhales, taking yourself over. Holding this time when you plant that right hand, really extend through those left fingers, open that left rib cage and the gaze up to the ceiling. Staying for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale all the way up. And left arm slides down the leg. Right arm reaches across, looking up towards that right armpit, reaching through the fingers. Opening up that right rib cage for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale all the way up. And exhale, we're going to plant those hands down right in front of us, right below the shoulders. And we're going to inhale, let the belly drop, open the chest and the gaze forward. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, round. Two more. Last one. Take that spine back to neutral. Left knee comes back, coming back up, torso over those knees. Right leg comes out this time, toes point forward, and again, we wanna try and intersect that left knee to the middle of the right foot. When you're ready, inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, plant that left hand, Reach the right arm long overhead and inhale, coming up, exhale to the other side. Inhale through center and transition over, moving with your breath. 
staying nice and connected through both legs as you go through this. Holding this time, you plant that left hand, really extend through those right fingertips, open that gaze upwards, and open through that right rib cage. Five, four, three, two, and one, all the way up. Exhale, right arm down the leg, left arm reaches, open up that left rib cage. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale all the way up. Plant those hands down in front of you, right below the shoulders. Inhale, belly comes down, chest and gaze open. Exhale, we're gonna round out through that spine, heads nice and heavy. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, rounding it out. Two more, just like that. Back to your neutral spine. Right knee comes back. Taking that blanket off to the side. We're gonna make our way in to our downward facing dog. Plant those hands, curl the toes, send those hips back. Getting nice and long through that spine, sending those hips back, focusing primarily on lengthening through the torso and the arms, secondary, straightening the legs, driving those heels down. On your next inhale, we're going to step the right foot forward and make our way in to our warrior one. So for this one, the back foot's on a 45 degree angle, the left hip's coming forward, right hip's pulling back chest is square in front of you and the arms are going to reach up towards the ceiling. Plug the shoulder blades into the back and squeeze them together. Lengthen through the spine. Keep that breath moving. Take three more breaths. See if you can bend a little bit deeper through that front knee. And exhale, plant those hands down. Step that right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plank. Release those knees down. Chin and chest come to the mat. Inhale through cobra, lengthen that spine. Exhale, curl the toes, step it back. Left foot comes forward, inhale, warrior one. This time, Right foot's going to be on a 45 degree angle. You're pulling the right hip forward, drawing the left hip back, chest, hips, gaze forward. Arms extend up, shoulder blades are down the back. We're reaching through those fingertips towards the ceiling. Lengthen through the top of the head. Breath continues to flow, drawing it all the way down into the belly. Belly button draws towards the spine on the exhales. Three more breaths. Come a little bit deeper if you can. Plant those hands down. Take it back to down dog. Inhale flowing forward, release the knees, exhale, chin and chest come down, inhale through cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Take three to five breaths here or come down into child's pose, which would be this, and arms can be forward or back, whatever is more comfortable to you. One more breath. Hands make their way out in front of you. Toes curl and we'll send ourselves back into our down dog. Inhale breath. Right foot's going to come forward and we're going to open up into our warrior two this time. So for this one, 
the outside edge of that left foot in line with the back of the mat. We're going to have a nice deep bend through that right knee, aiming to stack the knee over the ankle. Torso is square to the side, arms are going to extend forward and back, and the gaze comes over the middle finger on that right hand. Shoulders stay away from the ears. And on our next inhale, take the left arm down the back leg, right arm reaches up and back. Keep the bend through that front knee. Exhale, come forward, right elbow to the thigh, left arm reaches up to the ceiling. Inhale, flow back. And exhale forward. One more time into reverse. And exhale, windmill the hands down. Step it back to plank. Lower all the way to the mat. Inhale through Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot comes forward this time. Warrior two on the other side. Outside edge of that right foot's in line with the back of the mat. Nice bend through that left knee, stacking the knee over the ankle as best as you can, squaring the body to the side, reaching the arms forward and back. Gaze comes over the middle finger on that left hand. Shoulders aren't sneaking up towards the ears, we're keeping them down. And on the next inhale, right arm down the back leg, left arm up. Exhale, plant that left elbow onto the thigh, right arm extends up. Staying nice and solid through your base. Taking it back into reverse one more time. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Step that left leg back, lower all the way down. Inhale through Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step those feet forward on the next inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way to standing. And sending yourself back to the middle of the mat. We're gonna work on a little bit of balance here. Hands are gonna make their way onto the hips. We're gonna fix the gaze on a point on the wall or a point on the ground, whatever works best for you. Then root through that right foot, bring all your weight into it. Lift that left leg off of the ground, flex the toes to the face, extend through the heel of the foot. Open that chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, plug them down the back. Inhale, lift that leg as high as you can. Exhale, take it back. Transition that weight forward. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, coming forward going at a pace that works for you. You don't need to come really far forward or lift that left leg really high when it comes to the front. Lay within your edge and just explore where your balance is at today. One more round. Come standing, shake the legs out for a sec, shake the arms. Let go of that side, however you did, good or bad, and then plant down through your left foot. Hands return to the hips, lift that right leg when you're ready, draw the toes towards the face, reach through the heel. Inhale, lift it up, exhale, come forward with the torso, back with the leg. Inhale. And exhale, take it back. Two more rounds. Keep 
keep that gaze fixed and the breath moving holding it in or out will not help you and all the way back shake the legs out shake the arms out now I'm going to turn to face you because it'll make this one a little bit easier to understand if you have not done it before feet are hip width apart to start out we're going to plant down through the right foot bring the thumbs into the sternum hands are together nice lengthened upper body left foot comes to the ankle knee points right out to the side keep that breath moving focus the gaze on a point on the wall or again down on the floor not something that's going to move now if it's available to you lift the foot up onto the calf making sure that that knee doesn't sneak forward that it stays out to the side hips shoulders and gaze are square in front of you shoulders are staying down away from the ears breath continues to flow see if you can take three more breaths right here last one and then slowly bring that down let the arms go for a sec shake the arms and legs out planting through the left foot this time hands centered at the chest press them into the sternum foot comes to the ankle fix that gaze on point for you either on the wall or on the ground in front of you create that nice length engagement through the shoulders bring them together and down the back then if you can bring that foot up onto the calf knee points directly out to the side it's not sneaking forward towards me staying towards the wall beside you reaching through the top of the head keeping the shoulders down away from the ears three breaths and slow let everything go I'm bringing if you fall out just come back into it we're just trying to work on everything nobody's perfect so coming back to standing at the top of the mat bring the hands to the center of the chest take an inhale breath exhale come through your forward fold inhale bring the hands onto the shins we're gonna come halfway up exhale fold two more nice and long through the spine exhale deepen last one and exhale deepen all the way hands come to the mat stepping ourselves back into down dog keeping that body nice and long when you're ready we're going to lift that right leg up towards the sky drive through the heel of that right foot Inhale breath, we're gonna bring that right knee towards the left elbow, touch it if you can. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, touch. Two more. Holding this time, you bring it forward, nice and tight to the body. Five, four, three, two, one and back release it down take a breath or two and down dog or come into child's pose if you need it left leg comes up when you're ready and exhale drop to that right elbow lengthen on the inhale exhale knee towards the elbow three more last one hold when you come forward five four knee tight to the body three two one and back leg releases send yourself down child's pose for three to five breaths remembering arms can be long out in front 
or you can send them back alongside the body. One more breath. Make your way up into table pose, which is knees directly below the hips, hands right below the shoulders. Now we're gonna work work on some push-ups here, which you can choose to do from the knees if you need to. So you can stay in this position and then just take the hands a little bit forward. We're going to inhale lower, exhale press away. You can either do it like this, or you can fully lengthen, come into a high plank, inhale lower, exhale press. So your call, we're gonna do five of them nice and slow. Choosing your position, knees down or knees lifted. Inhale lower, exhale press. Four more. Only coming down to 90 degrees with the arms. Two more. The last one. And release the knees. Come into child's pose. When you're ready, we're gonna slowly make our way onto our spines once again. Getting nice and connected. And then we're gonna take that right foot, place it on the left thigh. Flex the right toes towards the knee. Take that right hand and press the right leg away from you. Left arm can just rest alongside the body. Gaze is fixed up towards the ceiling. Keep the breath moving. Feel nice and connected through that back body. Three more breaths. and let go of that leg put the right foot back down take that left foot place it on the right thigh draw the toes towards the knee right arm rest alongside the body now and that left hand presses that left leg away from the body opening up the outside of that leg stay heavy through the remainder of the upper body, head, shoulders, and back. Closing the eyes if you'd like, and beginning to slow down that breath. Three more breaths. Two more. Last one. Let go of that leg. Return the foot down to the mat. Now both knees are going to come in once again for a squeeze. Bring them in, rock a little side to side. Now we're going to extend just the right leg. Let it rest on the mat. Both hands come onto that left knee. Rock it side to side. Loosen up that hip just a little bit more. Then when you're ready, you're going to keep just the right hand on the knee. Left arm comes alongside the body onto the floor. And you're going to draw that knee over to the right. Using that right hand to help you come into a nice twist. Gaze either fixes up or the head falls over to the left. Whichever is more comfortable to you, your call. I want you to try and reach through this left hip forward, which is gonna keep your side body and your hip a little bit more open. It will also intensify the stretch for you. Stay heavy through both shoulders, especially that left, try and keep it connected to the mat. Two more breaths.
slowly make your way back up through center, head rotates up, and that leg comes up and extends all the way down the mat. Right knee comes in this time, both hands wrap around it, pull it in, and move it side to side. Releasing that a little bit more through the hip. Now, keeping left hand on the knee, right hand out to the side, we're going to pull that knee over to the left side. Again, eyeballs fix up, or they fall to the right this time, whatever is more comfortable to you and your body. We're also trying to reach this right hip forward, way down towards the feet. To keep the hip open and get into that side body a little bit, as well as that low back. Keeping that breath coming and going from the body. Feeling nice and heavy, especially through that right shoulder. Two more breaths. Now we'll rotate that head back to the ceiling if it's not facing that way. Leg comes up. Bring both knees in for one last squeeze. And then extend those feet out to the corners of the mat. Arms come alongside the body, palms up. Closing the eyes and letting go of that breath completely. Allowing it to return to its natural rhythm and resting, final resting pose.
Now when you're ready, movement into the fingers and the toes. Drawing the knees into the chest when you're ready. Squeezing them in. And then coming over onto your side. And then up to a comfortable seated position. Once you're there, taking a couple breaths, just resting. Closing your eyes again if you want. Now, I hope you enjoyed that practice and stay tuned for the next one. If you have any suggestions or questions, feel free to email me or comment down below on this video. Thank you for allowing me to share in your practice today. Namaste.